Uh, hello. Um, I want to present the kind of a mental map or map on the breakdown of the chapter of concept in for OU Open University students. Now this this is my map, mental map and breakdown of this of this chapter. Uh, there are three colors, the the <coughs> blue, uh, red and green. Now blue is uh, basically the, the classical theory which is presented in this, in this chapter. The red is a critique of this theory, and the green is an attempt to fix um, this theory, and uh, the concept of critique of this theory is also in red. Now, black color is uh, showing the common things, common kind of uh, categories of, of, of the problems which, which are emerging from this critique. So we, we really start with uh, with the classical theory, the classical theory, uh, and all this chapter really is, is based on the on the on the assumption. I would say assumption uh, that concepts are categories, you know, which they are not necessarily have to be. I think, but this is what the basic concept in this in this chapter is that concepts are categories, and this refers to uh, Aristotle's uh, uh, to you know philosopher who created this classical theory of categories and he based it on this whole logic which he created whole logic around this and the and the, and the um, principle of this classical theory is definition of category a definition of category which has this necessary and sufficient components for a member to belong to this category so any 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 member of category have to have necessary and sufficient comp the properties in order to belong to these categories. Now, the first critique of this classical theory was done by Roche in 1973 uh, by typicality. I mean, she discovered that there are huge differences between within, within the category between members. So she proposed uh, to give it the ratings. You know, how typical is this uh, member of this category? So it's different ratings. The next critique was the borderline cases by McCluskey, 78, and he, he discovered that they are, uh, they are kind of uh, members who, who don't have very well defined membership. And according to classical theory, it has to be in and out. It cannot be just on a border, you know, it could be in there, in there, like, you know. So he found that color, for example, is one of us things which uh, which kind of is borderline. And then third critique in this chapter is intransitivity, uh, which is basically a logical problem because uh, you know they, they discover <coughs> uh, all of this is of course based on judgment, how people judge things. So the problem is that if A and B belong to the same category, but if B belongs to another category as well, uh, it doesn't mean that A also belongs to this category. So it's, it's a problem in logic. And Aristotle created all of this based on the logic. And then we discovering that there is no really logic in, in all this categorization. Now, we have a tendency then to, to fix all of those problems and fix this classical theory. And uh, the first one is a prototype theory, which is based on the concept of similarity and prototype. So all these members are similar to this prototype and tend to cluster another prototype. And this, this uh, fix was trying to fix this typicality, you know. So instead of give, having a rating there, we accept that all of them are tendent clusters. But the problem with this is that it really doesn't have a stability because the, the, meaning, the meaning really is changing in a context. And the... Uh, and, uh, Schoban is the one which, which do, did this uh, critique, and the other is that there is no uh, really, they cannot cope with a complex uh, meaning. The next theory which fixes this is the <coughs> theory based view, which basically is trying to fix the borderline cases of typicality, and basically saying that, um, that, that people create the complex theory about meanings. Therefore, um, the problem really with this is does it really? explain um, uh, 
uh, this this uh, categorization, or rather, is, or rather, is trying to replace it with some other theories, whatever. And uh, also, it can't cope with uh, complex definitions. Now, the third fixing fix was attempted by psychological essentialism, which basically s says that people believe in essential categories, and therefore this is how people uh, cluster all of this into the into the categories. People believe in essential properties. And this is really criticized because it seems to be inconclusive and, and some empirical testing sa is saying that uh, you know people sometimes believe in them, some other people don't believe, so it's really mixed and there's nothing really conclusive there. And also cannot cope with complex um, meaning. So we can see that the uh, the really okay, one minute. That we can see that all of this is really multi-layer knowledge, so it requires probably mo many different theories to explain. And for example, one of here I could see that all of them, all of these uh, theories have problems with complex meaning. So you would have to have a theory explaining complex meaning and simple meaning, different theories. For example, and the problem really also lies with the assumption that concepts our categories, and this would really have to be tackled somehow, uh, psychologically. Thank you.